In this video, I'm going to be showing you some smart CAD features like Smart Mouse, which allows you to use gestures to start commands. We're going to be exploring Smart Batch Plot, which allows you to select multiple sheets at once and then uh, create a batch plot out of that quickly and easily. We're going to be uh, allowing us to draw, uh, allowing our drawings to speak with Smart Voice, which allows you to leave messages to your colleagues working on the same drawings, and you can just tell them uh, with a voice recording what should be done where. I'm going to be showing you a smart select, which allows you to filter down your uh, CAD drawings in order to select exactly what you need. And finally, we're going to be exploring advanced ordinate dimensions uh, for a quick and easy dimensioning. All of this will be done with an affordable smart CAD software called ZWCAD. Let's go. Let's start with the main question, which is what is ZWCAD? Well, this is a CAD software that offers benefits like full DWG compatibility, familiar user interface to AutoCAD, complete commands, extreme speed when it comes to installation, opening new drawings, uh, selection, hatch, and so on. It supports powerful APIs, and most importantly, it offers one-time fee with perpetual licenses, which is so rare with software for these days. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link to their free trial up in the cards above and then also in the description of this video. And full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. But now let's move on to the main part of this video, which is going to be a demo of the following smart features. We're going to be covering smart mouse, smart batch plot, smart voice, smart select, and advanced ordinate dimensioning. So let's get started and let's go to ZWCAD. And now let's get started with our first smart feature inside of ZWCAD, and that's going to be Smart Mouse. So Smart Mouse allows you to use gestures in order to start certain commands or assigned commands. So you just wanna hold your right mouse click. So I'm just going to go down and to the right, and that's going to start the line tool. So as you can see here, it says line, and now I can just start placing lines. So simply by using that gesture, it started this command. If I place a C gesture, uh, I'm just going to start the circle command, which is really cool. And what I like the most out of all of these gestures is do or redo and undo. So if I go uh, and create a dash to the left, it's going to undo and dash to the right, it's going to redo. So I think this is really intuitive and really good when it comes to your uh, design. Instead of having to use commands, you can just use these gestures for certain things. Most importantly, you can customize that. So if I go here to tools, you can see that for smart mouse, we have smart mouse settings, or you can just type in a smart mouse configure here we go. And that's going to start the smart mouse settings. And here you can see uh, you can enable and then here you have all of the gestures that are available, you can enable them or disable them here. Uh, so uh, these are the undo and redo, which I really like and so on and so forth. Uh, and you can uh, assign new gestures to, uh, in this case, letters, or any of these gestures here. So for example, to the uh, left and then down and so on and so forth. Uh, now, uh, I wanna show you uh, here, I have assigned for these diagonal gestures, different uh, view modes, uh, orthogonal view modes. Uh, so for example, if we exit out of this and then let's create a rectangle, which I'm just going to do by uh, creating an R gesture. So let's create a rectangle like that. And then I'm just going to extrude uh, this rectangle just like that. And let's extrude it like this. Okay, so once we have this, now I can just create one of these gestures. So let's go diagonally uh, to the upper right corner like that. And that's going to take us to the 3D view. And now we can see this in 3D. I can try a different uh, uh, gesture like this, and it's just going to kind of orbit around and show me from different angles. So it's a really quick way to go to pre-assigned uh, or predefined uh, views just by using gestures, and it can save you so much time. Now let's move on to the second smart feature, which I want to explore today, and that is smart select. So you can find smart select by going here to express uh, and then 
finding smart select here and it's going to open up that menu or alternatively you can just type in smart and then here we have the smart select and it's going to bring up the same menu so what you can see here on the menu, uh, we have a few tools here at, at, the, at the top. And then here we have different types of, well, let's call them filters, where you can select uh, first uh, as the type of an object. And then we have uh, multiple options to choose from. Then we have the color. Uh, then we have the layer. Then we have the align type, the align weight, and so on. So we have multiple options which we can use to kind of make a smart selection on our drawing. So for example, something that's bothering me uh, often is when users uh, apply colors to different elements instead of just going by layer and then adjusting the color of that layer, uh, they would change the color manually. And I find this really frustrating. So if we want to catch them in the act, I would simply go here to by layer and check that on. So it's going to select all of the uh, elements in this drawing that are created or the who, who, whose color is defined by layer. And then what they can do is I can right, uh, right click and then I can uh, hide those objects. And now here we can see that someone's been naughty and they have uh, been changing the color manually. So here this is set to yellow instead of being by layer and so on and so forth. So now I, uh, I can easily find uh, these, in this case, something that I consider an issue and I can fix it from there. Okay, so now I'm just going to right click, go to isolate and then end that isolation. Okay, so moving forward, let's select one of the objects. So uh, for example, what I'm going to do here is just select that window. And, and then here we have the uh, have some options. And one of them is to select similar objects. So by clicking that it's going to select all similar objects that we have on this drawing. Now I can uh, filter this further by going here to layers and then let's actually expand the layers. And now I can see uh, for these similar objects where uh, they're located and as you can see we have uh, multiple uh, layers active and let's say I only want windows so I can just click here on window and then I can find okay so all of these objects which are on the window layer they're located here so I can now kind of filter that, that down and uh, use the smart selection to kind of easily access elements. I really like this because it kind of uh, reminds me of some of the features that we have in Revit, uh, which is obviously a BIM software. So it's nice to see something like that, a functionality like that, that allows you to filter through the uh, through the drawing uh, inside of CAD. So I really like those uh, options. Now it's time to make our drawings talk to us and we're going to be doing that with the smart voice feature. Uh, so if I go here to tools, what you'll notice is here we have a smart voice panel. Uh, and if I start the smart voice tool, I have the option to uh, go to settings and then I can choose do I want to create this as a point region or object. Uh, so let's start uh, this with a point. So what you want to do is you want to find a certain point on your drawing. So for example, let's go here to this. Um, I, I'm guessing this is a concrete column. And then I can just uh, click on that. And we're going to get this little microphone icon appear next to it. Now, once I click and hold, I can record notes for uh, somebody else that might be working on this drawing. So I can say, for example, and I'm just going to click and hold. We're going to need to make this a little bit bigger and then I can release it. And then as you can see here, it's 2.9 seconds and uh, we can even click to play. We're going to need to make this a little bit bigger. So there we go. That's how you make a point. Uh, then uh, the, the next option is to use a uh, rectangle. So again, I can either go here to smart voice or I can type in smart smart voice there we go so I can use a command like that uh, and then again I'm just going to go to settings and go to region and then just draw a rectangle around this stair There we go. And then here we have that microphone. So again, I'm just going to click and hold and leave another voice message. Please check if this stair is up to code. 
and now I can come back here and again it's 2.9 seconds I guess <laughs> that, that's that's as, as much as I need for my messages and now I can just click and play please check if this there is up to code there we go and then finally uh, let's uh, do our uh, object option so I'm just going to go here to smart voice uh, go to settings go to object and then I can select this uh, door for example and click and hold we can place a smaller door here don't you think and now I have recorded that as well. Now all of my uh, smart uh, voice recordings that I have will be here in the voice manager. So if we open that up, you can see all of these and uh, now I, I have the length uh, and we also have the type here and as I click on them it's going to toggle through the the drawing and just show me where that is. And also if I click, I can also play that. We can place a smaller door here, don't you think? So there we go. That's how you can use the smart voice to make your drawings speak and include messages to other people working on those same drawings. The next feature that I want to show you is the enhanced ordinate dimension. So let me show you. What you want to do is you want to type in X, uh, X dim ordinate. Oops, there we go. Uh, and then what this allows you to do is just to place ordinate dimensions. Uh, now, this is pretty basic. We have one here. Well, let's add uh, a few more. So, for example, I'm going to place one here and then one here, just like that. Uh, okay, so once we have this in place, uh, now we have some options where we can kind of modify this. So, for example, this at the moment is way too small. The text is way too small. And I don't really like the arrow here. So, let's go down here to options options and then I'm just going to change the text height to 250. Here we can even change the text style if we want. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, then I'm going to go to the arrow style and change that into a dot and then click OK. Now what I can do is I can update and then I can say OK let's update these three here. Hit enter and as you can see now they're a little bit bigger. Uh, now this one I might want to move uh, or actually let's delete it all together. Uh, OK so that's basically how you can place them and adjust them. Now let's say you want to change the coordinate uh, center. Uh, so uh, what you can do is again just type in X dim ordinate and then go to option and here you can instead of the current coordinate system you can apply a custom coordinate system uh, and uh, uh, you can just basically place it here so I'm just going to place it like that here uh, no and there we go so now we have this new coordinate uh, system which we've customized click OK and now we can update these existing dimensions so let's update these two and when I hit enter as you can see the numbers will change according to the new uh, uh, coordinate zero dimension that we have specified over here now we're going to be looking at some of the smart batch plot functionality within the ZWCAD. So I'm just going to come in here and type in smart, oops, smart plot. There we go. And that's going to open up the ZWCAD smart batch plot dialog. Here, uh, in this case, I'm just going to set this to scatter line. Then I'm going to go to select batch drawings and I can just come in here and select all of these if I want. Hit enter to confirm that. Then for the device name, I'm just going to set this to uh, DWG to uh, PDF because I just want to export some PDFs. I'm just going to check multiple as well. And then finally, I want to highlight this just to see kind of the order in which this will be exported. And as you can see, this is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once we have that, I can just hit enter. Uh, here you can play around with the prefix or something like that. I can just remove the number one there. And then here we can select the output path. And once we have everything in order, you just hit plot and it's going to plot these uh, nine sheets as a PDF. And this is what we get. So as you can see here, we have all of those sheets automatically exported.
And that concludes all of the smart features that I wanted to share with you in this video. So once again, if you want to check out the free trial for ZWCAD, I'd like to encourage you to check out the links up in the cards above and then also down in the description of the video. So thank you for watching and I'll be back with uh, another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial in a few days. Have a nice day.